why can't cinemas also open? And this is um, Van Vika um, as he questions rules of ease of lockdown as announced by the President of Ghana, Nana Akufuado, on the 26th of July. He said stakeholders um, need to be told why they can't reopen cinemas if churches are allowed to reopen. I have to agree. I actually do agree. I have to agree. Even for, even like for Lagos here. I think there's Nigeria. a conversation. No, no, no. That but if churches, mm. if churches can actually open, I think cinema is one of those places that, yes, give them the rules of opening, but they can actually control who comes in, wear remarks, practice the social distancing, people. even get to the point where you say you can only buy your tickets online. So if you don't no have contact. a ticket at the door, you are not coming in. Mm. So and I the think all that. people that can be in the you cinema. Know, and and I think. I think people who are most liable to um, break the rules of social distancing will happen more at church mm -hmm. than in cinemas Cinema. because church is more family oriented. There's a lot, you know, a lot more people that you're gathered with. Shake so, your neighbor and tell him you are <laughs> I mean, even if they don't do that in sermon, I can imagine that in the car park, you haven't seen all your friends in a while. Like mm -hmm. the, the chances that kids don't even hug each other, like it's it's rare to me. But in the cinema. You're not going with your whole entire squad. Like, you know, maybe two people or three people, or people you come with. Mm -hmm. So the chances of you sitting separately, watching the movie, having a good time, laugh, and getting X in is, to me, it's safer to open the cinema and close the church than, like, the other way around. So I don't I don't understand, and I'm with him 100%. Yeah, so they need to give us a reason why or what the rationale behind this is, because this is not just about Ghana right now. It's about Nigeria as well. Yeah. And everywhere else, the cinemas are still closed. And I, I think I think for me, what, what I'm noticing, and I might be, this could just be theory, is that I think it depends on if they are putting pressure on the government. Yeah, the stakeholder. Like, if that stakeholder, if that industry is saying, guys, we can't, we need to put on, um, open something, then they'll open. Because even, for example, like, the markets and stuff that are open, it's a it's a risk yeah which is why it's nice that he is starting this conversation yeah. now and i'm hoping that other stakeholders those that actually put carry weight cinema yeah. and making millions from it can actually start talking now because mm. that's the only way they can begin to consider and look at the measures we talked about i mean we have cinemas that don't even sell their tickets by the counter because mm. if you're going to what's the name now the one around like if you're so on once you get get there most times it's sold out so if you don't mm. book your seat online you are probably not going to get anything to see so mm. there are things to be done and i think cinemas need to come back please mm -hmm. can clubs come up, <laughs> come back to us uh -huh. so yeah uh, no clubs will be I need, I need my Friday night to be back no, like maybe I, 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 I can't remember yeah. the last time i had a friday night so that's the fun for you well, that's my fun. Cinemas I mean, that's are your fun. <laughs> so you won't go to cinema to have fun? I don't like cinemas. I slip off every time I'm in the cinema. Wow. Mm. Mad. Okay. Mad. Nari. Mad. <laughs>